Hey, this is Brad with FilterWaterDirect.com and I'm going to go through uh, a very fast and easy service procedure for the Poly Salt Free Water Softener Gen 3. Uh, the Gen 1 was a blue unit uh, that was a little bit larger than this unit. This is the uh, Gen 3 unit, <clears throat> which is the same as the Gen 1. It's just a it's got a wall bracket with it, um, but basically it's set up the same way inside. Uh, so I'll go through this. I'm assuming that you know how to unscrew the bottom off of yours. Um, you know, your, your housing top would be in place, still installed, but you're going to unscrew the, unscrew the bottom, of course, after you turn off the water and drain, drain the water with the valve. And then what you're going to find inside is, is these components, and it should look just like this. Um, this is the catalytic core or the hard water bullet. This is the stainless steel screen. Notice the bottom that comes off and the top. And of course the inside of the unit <coughs> with the silicone gasket. So all you've got to do every six to, you know, we tell our customers every six months to remove it, check it, after, particularly after the first time. And after six months, if they haven't used a whole lot of polyphosphate or things aren't very dirty, then the next time they can go for nine to ten months. <clears throat> so remove the components inside. Take the top off. You might have polyphosphate left in it, so be careful not to spill it. That polyphosphate is reusable. Pour it out on a paper towel, dry it, rinse it under water before you put it back in. Uh, sometimes polyphosphate crystals get residue on them from iron, manganese, other things in the water and it can cause them to dissolve slower than normal. So rinse that polyphosphate, don't throw it away and, and you can reuse that. Uh, your bottom, <clears throat> some of my customers actually glue this on the bottom and that's fine. Uh, there's, no <clears throat> there's, there's no problem in doing that. In fact it can be beneficial because <clears throat> when you put the polyphosphate in here, if you're not careful this can come off and you'll spill your polyphosphate crystals all over the floor. So what you want to do first of all is either use warm soapy water or vinegar and uh, uh, just an old used toothbrush and clean it from the inside out. Okay, scrub it good. Clean all the residue. You'll probably find some stuff inside of here that you'll want to make sure that uh, you remove before you put this back together. Um, it's a good idea to go ahead and rinse this out too, the bottom, with soapy water, warm soapy water. Make sure your bottom is securely attached. The next thing you're going to want, crystals, we, we offer the crystals in, in 8 ounce packages like this. <clears throat> you can buy polyphosphate crystals all over the internet. You don't have to buy them from, from us. Uh, just make sure you get slow soft or a, a slow dissolving polyphosphate. So this, this is the right amount for this unit. So we're just going to, and I would normally use a funnel on this, but I'm not going to because I want you to see it. So if I spill a little bit, bear with me. We're just going to pour those in there nice and easy. And you don't want to fill this to the top. It's not needed. A little more room is better than uh, having too full. <clears throat> okay, you can see about how much is in there. It's about filled up to about halfway. And then you can actually set this back down in place. Okay, and this actually sits in there with an O-ring. You want to make sure that's secure and tight. The next thing is the bullet core. Okay, take it out of the tube, rinse this with soapy water. And this here uh, can be a very, you know, different colors depending on your water. It could be green, it could be brown, it could be red, but take a, if you can find a, uh, a small bra or a small wire brush like this under running water, scrub it end to end so that you get all the way down into the uh, you know all this envelope and these these crevices you want to make sure you scrub that out real good uh, sometimes if yours is real dirty uh, even soaking it in vinegar uh, three or four hours helps a lot make sure that the the bevel not the flat end but the bevel points up the reason for that is water comes in from this direction it has to hit this bevel this bevel creates a turbulent in the water which which uh, helps the the catalytic core do its job 
And then this, this, this course is the top. It sits in here like so. And you just simply sit this on there, just like that, okay? And that's all there is to it. Now, <clears throat> I've got Vaseline out here. You can use any kind of petroleum jelly. It's really recommended that you remove this gasket out of here when you service this and apply a nice thick coating of petroleum jelly to this gasket, top and bottom. There's not. This is a reversible gasket. There's. You can turn it upside down or right side up. But make sure you coat it with Vaseline or any kind of petroleum jelly real good on both sides before you screw this together. And that will help lubricate the gasket and keep it from rolling. Otherwise, you might have a leak. And that's all there is to it. That is ready to be back screwed back up on the housing. Hand tighten only. It's not needed to have a wrench. If you need a wrench, uh, you've probably over tightened it the first time or the prop I even see customers that assemble the insides incorrectly and cause it to over tighten so that's all that is thanks for watching